Right, with us we have Ricardo Manetti, Brave Warriors coach. Now, Ricardo, you've just uh, named your squad for the upcoming AFCON match against Niger, as well as the Kusafa Cup. Can you just give us more info, please? Well, um, thank you, thank you, Yalga. First of all, I'm not going to uh, put a squad for Niger and a different squad for Kusafa. We're going to keep the momentum, we're going to focus on the big picture, and that is to say that we look at the Niger match and the Kosafa matches uh, as, 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 in, as, as a whole. Uh, what I mean by that is that the squad that we've just announced will also be relevant for Kosafa, not only for Niger. Having said that, it, it, it makes things a little bit easier for me in terms of when it comes to the consistency. So I've decided to uh, illum uh, to, to, to keep players out that are not going to be part of Kosafa. Meaning, if a player is going to play against Niger and can't be available for Kosafa, I'm not going to use such player. For the simple reason that uh, um, I need to put replacements in place for Kosafa. Uh, players like those ones that, uh, that will not get the call up this time around for the Niger match is because uh, the clubs don't want to release them for Kosafa. So you have our captain that we will lose because of the playoffs. He will not be part of uh, the scam, uh, Ronald Kishere. We also have Willem Hanga that the club also don't want to release because they have uh, playoffs as well. Another player that we, will, that we could lose out on is uh, Peter Shalulile. We, they just wrote us a letter yesterday saying that he hasn't recovered from an injury. Um, although he has played uh, a week or two weeks ago, for the club, so I don't know if he is injured um, the, the same injury or he has the same injury again. So he will also be a doubt for Kosafa and Niger. Uh, so those three are the ones, and obviously, you know, players like uh, Sydney Urikop, uh, players like Kaimi that's in Thailand, they will also not be called up this time around because of the simple fact that uh, they won't be available for Kosafa. And it doesn't make sense to me to have a different squad against Niger and have a different squad against Kosafa. That will be unfair towards the players that will be there against Kosafa. So I would rather put, and, uh, uh, put them in the deep end of the ocean against Niger and so that we can rectify our problems before we go into Kosafa. Um, therefore, I've made that decision and I think it make, uh, it make uh, football sense rather to focus just uh, to, fo to put the focus solely on Niger and solely on Kosafa. So we look at it as, um, as, 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 as one competition. Um, uh, the other ones also very important uh, that I want to explain my policy. Um, you know, in, in recent times, especially in the past year, a lot of people were questioning my policy. Well, it's very simple and I will explain that again. If a player does not play for his club on a regular uh, basis. I only have one week to prepare that player to go into a competition. Um, therefore, the Batistas were not involved, the Tacostas, Angulas were not involved, uh, the Kaimbis were not involved. So this time around, we have a good three week preparation going into Kosafa. And for me, it only makes sense to bring them back, um, especially Tacosta is back in the, in the fold. The other day he played against Chiefs, was man of the match. Uh, the same with Wanko, played against Ajax, was brilliant. Um, I also think he had a man of the match performance. So this time around I can bring them back because I have the luxury of time. I have the luxury to prepare them against Niger. I have the, two weeks after that I can still prepare them and get them ready for Botswana. So that, hence I've decided to, to bring such players back. I haven't changed my policy. Uh, after the Kosafa, when I have one week to prepare uh, a player or a team, I will stick to that policy again. Only difference this time around, as we are speaking right now, there's a good three and a half weeks before we play our first game against Botswana. And therefore those players will be back. So Virgil Fris is back, uh, Batista Gomez is back, Takosta Angula, I've, I've, I've brought him back as well. So. Um, we still have a very good squad and I'm still very confident, although we've lost uh, our captain, we've lost Mwede Hanga through the playoff situation. Um, Shitembe is also one that, uh, that uh, I left out because, uh, um, because of injury. He will only recover middle, in middle June and uh, by then we already, you know, we've already started with, uh, with the Kosafa Cup.
Right, so do you think you have enough um, personnel and the new ones coming in to retain the car? Well, um, I've, what, I, what I did, I looked at the options to replace certain players and um, I was, I'm, I'm, I'm very sure that I made the right decision in the replacement. We have, I, I brought back uh, Tiberius Lombard to give us depth in defence. He, last year he played um, against Zambia two matches, so he has already international experience. So he will give us depth um, in that. Um, you know, there's also a guy like uh, Roger Kachitel that I brought back because he has played in the national team. So in a situation where we have lost our key players, it only makes sense to replace them with players that have already played for the national team and that I don't have to start from scratch again. So those type of players are back in the fold. We also have Larry O'Reilly that's back. He's, he's, he's been our number one right back before he got injured. Um, so I brought him back, took him to Ghana. He's doing well, I'm very positive. And I think finally we will solve our right back uh, headaches that we, that we had the past year. So um, I looked at experience uh, to replace our current uh, uh, first 11 players. So hence um, those players are back in the fold. So I think when you look at that, that uh, it's not all new and young players, there is no experience. We brought back players that have been here, they've worked with me, um, they know my language, they know what I expect of them. And um, they won't have jitters or any nerves when uh, I, I play them against uh, Botswana, or play them against Niger. So that is, that is what we're looking at. So we still have a good a bunch of players. We have Virgil there that has experience. Da Costa is an experienced player. He was our number one centre back for years. Uh, Larry has the experience. We have uh, still uh, Denzel Housep that can fill in there. Batista came, is, is coming back. Uh, we still have Dion Hotto. We still have um, Benson Chilongo. So we still have a very capable squad. Um, but it's just up to me as coach to manage and then get them um, in the right, in the best place possible when we face uh, Botswana, that we are not uh, trying to test out players against Botswana. That won't, that won't make sense because it's a knockout competition. So this time around, I want to be sure that if we play uh, a Dynamo Friedra, so if we play whoever player that's coming in, that he can smoke the pipe. And we, uh, we're going we're gonna to rather put those players in uh, instead of changing the team against uh, Botswana. Then.